Today we're visiting the Tesvolt company, a maker of energy storage systems from the state of Saxony-Anhalt. We're at the premises of the Wetzel family who are Tesvolt customers. They have a 30 kilowatt photovoltaic installation on the roof of their warehouse. And let's take a look at their energy storage system in that building in the back. I'm now in the Wetzel family's cellar where the energy storage system is located. You've owned the photovoltaic system since last summer. When was the energy storage system installed? It was put in at the end of November. How long did that take? Was it a dirty job? It wasn't at all dirty. The storage system consists essentially of the cabinet which two men were able to carry in. Then the cabinet is equipped with these batteries. Actually, it's not at all dirty. How long did it actually take? About half a day. That was fast. Let's take a closer look at it. What we're seeing here is a 40 kilowatt lithium iron manganese phosphate energy storage system, clearly laid out. The battery stacks are 48 volts. What's special about this system, Mr. Schandert? We've developed a turnkey energy storage solution, which is very fast and easy to install. It's in the low voltage segment, so just about anyone can assemble, install and maintain it. In fact, I can handle my own batteries without coming into contact with dangerously high voltage. That's why it's 48 volts. Exactly. In addition, we've developed a unique active battery management system. Tesvolt works with active bidirectional balancing of cells in which excess charges are transferred to any other stacks in the cell with lower charge and in all directions. A battery management system is necessary to balance out all the cells. That's especially important with lithium batteries. Up to now, excess voltage could only be discharged by resistors to reach a same state of charge or channeled into adjacent cells. And that means energy losses? Yes, so we wanted to minimize these losses. That's why we developed a battery management system in which each cell can randomly control the other cells. Now we know what it's all about, so let's have a look at how this kind of energy storage system is manufactured. <laughs> 